It's the beginning of a new chapter for the newest graduates of St. Augustine's University. Very excited about the future now. A happy day after a year of leadership shakeups and money problems for the historically black college. Last month, President Dr. Diane Borderly announced she would be stepping down. Earlier this year, an audit found a $3 million drop in tuition revenue. WNCN investigates discovered enrollment at the school has declined by 27 percent. The changes concern students, but they are still optimistic about their future. It changed their morale a little bit. It went down and like we didn't really know what was going on. It was so many rumors, but we're still proud to be a Falcon. We hear about that a lot, uh, saying that, uh, you know, things about our degrees might not be worth, you know, the same amount. But at the same time, I think that St. Augustine's University is still prestigious. And at the end of the day, we all still go to class. We all still excel in the classroom. School leaders say these setbacks won't cause them to lose focus. With this school year coming to a close next week, it's back to business. Officials will be discussing ways to get the college back on track. Monday we'll begin uh, working and looking at our organizational structure. We'll begin to look at our financial stability. So we'll begin now that uh, school is concluded. Interim President Dr. Everett Ward hopes the school can move on from its misfortune. And we're looking forward to St. Augustine's being here in the business of educating uh, leaders for many, many years to come. Shamario Ratliff, WNCN News.